Hello there. Welcome back to Project Eggroll. It is I, Asmon Gold's editor, and Gray has once again enlisted my services due to the overwhelming positive reception of the prior video. Once again, everything said in this video are 100% Gray's words and thoughts. So let's cut to the chase and begin. I will be frank. Amazon Prime's Batman Caped Crusader was never on my radar until Phil told me that it had already been released. While I was asleep, he dropped a message to me on Discord saying, Hey man, do you want to review Woke Batman animated series? Like, watch one episode and see if it's worth talking about? And here, I thought I could take a short respite prior to the release of another Amazon Prime disaster, Rings of Power Season 2. But since I powered through watching the first episode of Batman Caped Crusader, I might as well make the most out of the situation. First off, I will confirm that Batman Caped Crusader is without a shadow of a doubt woke. Ah yes, that dreaded word that can't seem to go away woke. It is truly unfortunate to witness Bruce Tim and J.J. Abrams fall so far from grace and succumb to the DEI agenda. As you might expect in these ESG-infested quote-unquote entertainment, Batman Caped Crusader tries to tick as many of the DEI checklist as possible. Alfred is now body positive and eats all of Bruce's meals when he fights crime, Jim and Barbara Gordon, like Cleopatra, are suddenly black, and probably the worst of them all, the penguin has been gender swapped. If that is not terrible enough, this new monstrosity of a penguin in this show is made out to be attractive and charismatic. But then again, is it really surprising if that is how these writers and showrunners perceive beauty? and wit. Harvey Dent is written in such a one-dimensional manner that is almost as atrocious as CW's Gotham Knights. As for the plot of the first episode, it is nothing to write home about. It boils down to the rivalry between two crime bosses, Rupert Thorne and Oswald Cobblepot, aka the Penguin. It is a battle between these two factions for supremacy over Gotham City, with Batman being caught in the middle. While I understand that this is the animated show that should never be incredibly in-depth due to its intended broad audience, they could have at least written these characters in a clever manner. Apparently, when going against a rival crime boss, it makes sense to share your tricks and secrets to the enemy and them likewise believing in what you say, because in this first episode, when Penguin thought that she had the upper hand, Rupert tells her in the party that he has a rat in her ranks who reveals key details of her operation. If I were Rupert, maybe I would not have revealed that essential piece of information to my opponent, because, oh, I don't know, maybe I could have taken advantage of it more. And if I were Penguin, I wouldn't immediately believe what my enemy who is after my life has to say. But then again, I'm not a Holly Woke writer. Maybe their intellect is just way beyond what I can possibly comprehend. Anyway, now that Penguin is aware of the mole in their organization, she quickly manages to weed out the traitor who turns out to be one of her sons and murders him. But it turns out that it was the other son who panics and asks Rupert to help him, but Rupert just takes him for granted. Out of desperation, Penguin's son goes to Gotham Police, where Barbara manages to keep him safe from Penguin's goons while meeting Batman for the first time. In the final scene, it is revealed that Penguin has a missile that she plans to release on the Gotham Police in retaliation and to prevent her son from testifying. Batman then of course swoops in and saves the day with very bare-bones fight sequences. Batman Caped Crusader 
is off to an underwhelming start, especially in comparison to the highly revered Batman, the animated series, which I heard nothing but very high praises from. It is truly a shame that somehow these showrunners, who had once been highly respected in their craft, have fallen so low and placed their politics at the forefront and forgotten what brought them to where they are today. And that concludes Gray's review on Batman Caped Crusader Episode 1. Do not watch it and let content creators such as ourselves watch on your behalf. Do not support these garbage DEI-funded content and keep fighting the good fight. What are your thoughts on the show? Did you watch more episodes or even all the way to the end? Sound off in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and do consider subscribing if you have not already, and I will see you next time.